state television employee burst into that live broadcast of Russia's most watched news show last night, yelling, stop the war and holding up a sign that read in Russian, they're lying to you here. Talk about an extraordinary act of protest against Putin's invasion of Ukraine. I really fear for this woman now, this young woman. Absolutely. Because when you do something like that in a fascist, under a fascist regime, whether it is politically fascist or Christian fascist, you're asking for death. The woman, is her name is Marina Ovsinakova, and she worked for Channel One, as it's called, the state-run television channel. And that's according to a, rights, a Russian rights group that is giving her legal support. Um, the group also released a video in which this woman says she is, quote, deeply ashamed to have worked to produce, quote, Russian or Kremlin propaganda, end quote. Now, the news show is entitled Varemya. It is among the uh, Putin's flagship propaganda outlets. It's watched by millions of Russians every evening. And this intervention that this young woman um, committed underscored how dissent is slowly getting into the public consciousness in Russia, even after Putin has stifled opposition to the war. And as a matter of fact, if you remember, he enacted a, a law to punish anyone spreading whatever he decides is false news about the Ukraine invasion. And it carries a penalty of up to 15 years in prison for telling the truth. Um, this is really... A, 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 well, let me go on. Um, in the video, this young woman, um, uh, not in what happened at the TV station, but in the video that uh, she also put together, this young woman said, quote, we are Russian people thinking and smart ones. Only we have the power to stop this craziness. And quote, and she called for Russians to protest against what, it, what Putin has ordered. So what happened was on Monday evening last night, Mrs. Um, Ovsianakova, walked onto the set as the anchor was describing Russian talks with Belarus over how to soften Western sanctions. She unfurled a sign, I'm sure you've seen the video now, with a Ukrainian and a Russian flag that said in English, no war, and at the bottom, if you remember, said Russians against war, and in Russian, it said, quote, stop the war, don't believe the propaganda, they're lying to you here, here being Channel One. And the anchor, uh, Yekaterina Andreyeva, the woman who was reading the news, uh, she has hosted that program, the Vremya newscast, for more than two decades, just continued to read from her script as uh, Mr. Uh, Miss of Sanyakova protested behind her. And then within a few seconds, but long enough so that people watching the newscast saw this, the show cut away from, from the set. And afterward, according to the TASS state news agency, Channel One said it was, quote, investigating an incident with an outsider in the frame during a live broadcast, end quote, investigating an incident. Mm-hmm. So then the young woman, Mrs. Ovsyanikova, was detained after her protest and at first was being held at a small police station at Moscow's Ostenkino Broadcasting Center. That's according to the human rights group that supports Russians who are arrested for protesting. And details on her condition weren't immediately available to this rights group and consequently to anyone else. But the moment when um, Miss uh, Osivinakova, of Sinakova, some of the Russian names are difficult for an English speaker to pronounce for sure, 
But that moment went viral online in Russia, despite the efforts by Putin to block dissent on the Internet. Um, within hours, uh, Ms. Uh, Ostinakova's Facebook page had more than 26,000 comments, comments with people thanking her or praising her for her bravery in, in three languages, in Russian, English, and Ukrainian. Um, the protest, what inspired this young woman, uh, it came after Putin signed that law earlier this month that criminalizes any public opposition to or independent news reports about the war. This is what the fascist Christians in this country want to do. This is what the orange vomit Donald Trump wanted to do. But please keep in mind that, that fascism in this country has a decided Christian uh, segment to it. As a matter of fact, it's the controlling segment. These people are just goddamn crazy on their blood cult. But this is what they want. Criminalizing any public opposition to factual news reporting. Anyway, the law in Russian could make it a crime to simply call the war a war, because Putin has described it as a, quote, special military operation, end quote. Um, so underscoring journalistic fears of the law, the independent newspaper Novaya Gazeta blurred out Miss uh, Avsyanakova's anti-war poster in a picture of the protest it posted on Twitter. It, it blurred out what the word said. And since the war criminal, the monster, the filthy goddamn murderer Putin launched the invasion on February 24th, his government also has blocked access inside Russia to the websites of major Russian language outlets that are based outside the country. Also, Putin, being a fascist, blocked access to Facebook. Um, that's where uh, westward-looking urban middle class in Russia uh, would go to Facebook, where criticism of the invasion has been robust. But on Monday, uh, Putin also started blocking access to Instagram, which apparently is a very popular venue for activism in Russia. And as we know, or we should know at this point, thousands of Russians have taken to the streets in protest uh, of this invasion, not just in Moscow, but in cities all over Russia. And they have been met with heavy police presence. You've seen some of those videos. I saw a video on uh, MSNBC this morning of, in two separate instances, women who were speaking in Russian to a Russian interviewer, and all of a sudden, uniformed police show up and just take the woman away in both instances. And, of course, the women being arrested or detained put up no resistance because they live in Russia. They understand what resistance would get them, physical resistance. And according to um, a Russian civil rights group, there have been about 15,000 arrests of people protesting what Putin has done. Um, now, the, the Putin, because of who he is and the fact that he has no soul, he is a typical Christian fascist, no soul whatsoever. He's been very good at ruthlessly stifling dissent. But this is different. Uh, the dissent up to this point has been the rules, the laws in Russia that, that were very restrictive in terms of speech and assembly and freedom of the press. But now, with this war, he could face a challenge if these protests metastasize into a larger movement that, that just blows a hole through this bullshit official war narrative, which is what the, the young woman tried to do on Channel One last night. Um, now, the English language content of uh, Mrs. Ovsyanakova's uh, poster reflected how some Russians are, are trying to show that the war against Ukraine is not being fought in their name. 
which is not unlike what a lot of us did in this country when the war criminal George Bush ordered the invasion and the slaughter of innocent people in Iraq. So there, there's also this, and this has not gotten a lot of attention in Western media, uh, tens of thousands of Russians who are just despondent over what the future in their country holds for them or doesn't hold. And they're afraid of closed borders. They're afraid of Putin now. Tens of thousands of these Russians have fled to Turkey, Armenia, Central Asia, Europe since this invasion began. So the death and the destruction and the pain and the suffering and the horror that's being visited upon the people of Ukraine is going to have for this bastard filth Putin, in his mind anyway, an unintended consequence, and it may result in his being overthrown. I, I hope that if they do, the Russian people do overthrow him, that they'll take him into the streets and kill him, just hang him from a lamppost, do a Mussolini on him, My God. Hi, Truth Seekers. Mike Malloy here. As you know, we've switched formats and are now broadcast exclusively on the Progressive Voices Network. So that means you get fewer program interruptions, no corporate commercials, and lots of profanity. But our format change also means some of our radio listeners no longer hear the program. It's been a while since I mentioned our podcasts, so you may have forgotten that there is a way to listen to this program anytime you need a good dose of screaming. Visit MikeMalloy.com and subscribe to our podcast. As a podcast subscriber, you can download the program to your mobile device and take me with you wherever you go. And if you have a friend who needs a dose of truth-seeking, you can give a gift subscription as well. That's MikeMalloy.com and never miss a minute of the uncensored fun and frivolity.